Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. It's Monday, March 29th. I'm Ira Cronin. Here's your News 5 update. All grades in District 49 will return to in-person learning today. They've been remote since November when there was a rise in cases. Officials say although they are encouraged by the current trend, they plan to remain cautiously optimistic. The district will offer remote learning still, but they're asking families to, if they can, attend in person uh, so that it'll lighten the burden on the educators. Happening today, UCCS will join the University of Colorado community with a moment of silence for the Boulder victims and everyone impacted. The event is planned for 2.30 this afternoon, exactly one week after the horrific events. Faculty, staff and students are all invited to stop and reflect on the massive loss. And looking ahead, the memorial service for Officer Eric Talley will be held tomorrow morning at Flatirons Community Church in Lafayette. The general public will be allowed to attend, but officials are encouraging people to watch virtually. Because of COVID restrictions, those who do attend will be required to wear a mask. Let's get a check of your Monday forecast now. Here's meteorologist Sam Schreier. Well, when we get out there through time, it's going to be an active two days. High fire danger for your Monday. It also comes with a high wind warning off our mountains into the I-25 corridor. We could have wind gusts that are over 60 miles per hour on some of I-25, especially by Walsenburg. That would be concern for some semi trucks being flipped over. When we look at your snow going into the extended forecast. There's only a little bit and it tries to come at us on Tuesday. And then again, we do think we're going to have some dry weather out to the extended. So your high temperatures today are forecast to be in the mid 70s in Colorado Springs, 81 in Pueblo. So actually pretty solid heat when we look farther east. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.